What's going on, everybody? What's happening? All right. Uh, just need to open up my reference photo here. Give me, hang with me for one second. But uh, here, I'll show you guys the reference photo. And uh, so it's going to be a cool castle today. This should be a pretty cool one. Pretty excited for this. Oh man, where is it at? Uh, file 006. So, um, yeah, that'd be a pretty cool place to visit one day. Definitely gonna have to find out where this place is in Germany. Put it on my list travel. So, um, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing okay. Sorry folks, I had uh, some technical difficulties yesterday and I'm just like trying to get everything set up back to the way it was. I think we're pretty good now. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get into this real quick here. Um, what's going on Jackson? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Enrique, Sarah, Matias, Candy, Gamer Wolf, everybody, A Yami, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. We're back at it. We're back at it today. All right. Uh, back better than ever, hopefully. So let's hurry up and do this. Let's block this in pretty quick. Some straight lines. Try to work on the big shapes first. So try to get this whole whole thing uh, kind of drawn in. See if I can see if I can do this. So maybe about there. Um, yeah, the blue parrot is on Friday. That's going to be in gouache. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I think in YouTube, it gives you the last one first for some reason. It puts them like backwards in your uh, subscriptions. I'm not really sure why that is, but uh, where'd my eraser go? Here we go. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that happened, but yeah, I'm doing the blue parrot and gouache. That's going to be really cool because I'm using tone paper like this uh, for the gouache. Should be really cool, hopefully. So I'm excited to try that out. Uh, haven't painted in gouache in over a year almost. So, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, gouache is like a, it's basically like opaque watercolor. Um, so, just try to get this little thing in here. It's pretty cool. This is a really cool castle. You know, I thought this thing was older than it was. This is only from like the 1860s or something, so... It's not very old, but it uh, looks really cool, that's for sure. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep blocking this whole thing in. Try to get this other... I kind of didn't place this correctly on the paper, unfortunately. I kind of didn't listen to my own advice. So now we have something that's kind of uh, off to one side rather than... But, you know, whatever. Let's just run with it. Like, I'd probably want to move this over, poop, so that it's more, uh, but I kind of centered this building on the page, which I kind of regret. But I can always, uh, the cool thing about this paper, I can always cut this down to like an 8x10 or something if I wanted to do that, rather than it being a 9x12. So, it's not, uh, it's not that big of a deal, you know. Um, I always leave like a lot of space around most of the sketches anyway, so I can always trim these down if I really feel like, uh, it's the composition is served better. Um, yes, I do need a pencil extender. I think I have one somewhere actually. Uh, what's going on? Somebody from Saudi Arabia. That's pretty cool. Somebody in Arkansas. Cool. People from the Philippines and all over the place. Can you draw Fantasy World Philippines? They have a castle. Maybe. 
Um, I'm drawing this right now, so I can add it to my list, but uh, I have some ideas coming up. I got some interesting ideas, I think. I was I had some ideas uh, last night, so we'll see uh, what ends up happening. Uh, in the future, near future, I got some things I'm thinking about possibly doing, just seeing what happens, trying some different stuff. So I'm going to do this kind of loosely like I always do. Um, you guys know how I always do it usually. You know, kind of a sketchier style for like uh, architecture and stuff. So we'll try to keep that. Keep that going with this sketch. So, and there's some stuff over there. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I can put the trees here and kind of continue it so that, you know, this, this isn't, you know, it's not too bad of a composition actually. You know, if I did want to add the background, which I don't think I'm going to do, uh, I might, maybe, I don't know. I might add the background in, but I kind of like this just being pretty abstract and kind of, you know, in a floating, no background type of thing. Yeah, I was looking at going to Ireland, Ireland uh, like last week and then I looked at the weather there right now and I was like, nope, I'm not going there. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Although now with all the smoke on the west coast in California, I feel like I want I need to go somewhere, but maybe I'll go somewhere in the US, visit family and stuff like that. Eventually, I'm not sure when. Okay, sketch this down. It's another little tower thingy here. So I'm trying to just simplify everything, you know, just break it down into lines and not worry about detail right now. I'll do all that with the pen. Just add more detail and stuff in. So there's a big tower back here I didn't add in. Another little thing here. Pointy thing there. Save this big tower for last. Yeah, this is definitely a cool place. I wonder if they, I think they do have tours of this place. It'd be really cool to see. And to do a painting while I'm there, do a painting of this thing. Plain air painting, that'd be pretty cool. One day. Put that on my list for sure. If I ever make it out to Germany, I'm sure I will one day, no doubt. Once all this virus stuff, once they figure out a vaccine for this virus thing, so we can start all traveling again. <clears throat> all right, well, uh, this is we're getting pretty close. Looks pretty pretty decent so far a um, bunch of trees and stuff down here you know this is all shadow so I'm not gonna worry too much about it I'll do I'll define all the trees and stuff with the pen but there's a little thing on the side here what's going on Philip <clears throat> yeah I saw the I saw the uh, photos from uh, San Francisco today Man, it's crazy. It's kind of how it was here yesterday where I was. It was like, you know, 2 o'clock in the... 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it just looked like... It was so orange outside. It was so crazy, man. It was apocalypse, you know. But San Francisco looks really super crazy, man. Some of the photos. I don't know if some of the photos out there are exaggerated. Some of them look like super red, and I'm like, is that real? Is somebody using filters on these photos? Because I've seen other photos that are kind of like how it was here yesterday. It was like a little bit orange, not super red. 
but yeah, I don't know. I guess in some areas it's worse than others, but really nuts out there today. That smoke. <clears throat> oh, you're not there, right? You're in LA. Yeah, it's crazy down there. It's crazy out here, man. Definitely crazy. I'm sure it's crazy down there where you are too, probably. Probably a little bit of smoke and stuff, at least around there. LA is pretty big, so depends on where you are, of course. So let's try to get the perspective here. So I think I'll put in, you know, I'm not gonna, we'll try to, we'll just treat these windows like a painting, you know, we'll kind of just put a few of them in or whatever. But I'll do all this with the pen probably. This thing's like seven or eight stories tall, man. This is ridiculous. What a crazy castle. You know, just some suggestion of detail here. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, there's ash everywhere. I'm in the Sacramento area and yeah, I open my car door and then all this ash flies everywhere. It's like, oh great. We're just breathing this stuff in all the time. It's awful. But I haven't been going outside at all in the last couple days. So especially yesterday, I went out and took some photos. Like it, it literally smelled like smoke inside my apartment yesterday. Like that's how bad it was. It got, it was so windy here yesterday. And then like, it just smelled like smoke. It smelled like there was a fire it smelled like I had a giant bonfire in my living room. <laughs> like, you know when you're by a bonfire, you just smell smoke, and later on you go home and your clothes smell like smoke? Like, it smelled like that in my apartment. It was crazy. Um, and going outside yesterday, I went out for like a few seconds, just take some photos and stuff and video, but it smelled like bonfire out there and there's no fire in my town at all there's no fire it's all just blowing you know i think there's a fire in yosemite somewhere and there's a fire up north of me so i was just getting the worst of everything and then now i think in colorado it's like last week there was like it was like in the hundreds there and then now all of a sudden it's like snowing there in colorado so it's like what is going on man It'd actually be nice if we could get some snow here because then it'll at least put out all the fires, but oh well. Probably not gonna happen. We can't even get any rain. It's like 100 degrees here. Like 40 Celsius. Okay, more windows, and then boom, I think we get into the ink, ink this thing up, and then call it a day, call it a night. But I'm pretty happy with how that came out. It's pretty good. Like I said, the composition's not the greatest. I probably should have moved it over, but like I said, I can always crop this thing down, eight by 10, probably something like, yeah, if I took two inches off this side, or inch and a half, and then a half inch here, and then inch from the bottom this will be a good 8 by 10 so not too worried um, yeah there wasn't that much ash uh, it wasn't all over my clothes but you could just see little ash particles flying in the air Really crazy, pretty crazy. Yeah, the video's fine, so if it's not working, you should probably refresh. Everybody else is seeing it, I'm seeing it. Um, so, it's your fault, not mine, that's all I can say. So we'll start inking this thing up. Try to, anyway. Do my best here. Hmm. 
How am I getting buffering? YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Come on. I'm not even dropping frames. This is ridiculous. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening. No, I haven't tried that kind of pen and I don't really care to. <clears throat> Low latency, okay, that's good. Everything should be fine, okay. Excellent connection now, so, all right. It's weird, because my streaming thing says dropped frames zero, zero frames drop, so I don't know what's, uh, I don't know, just crappy, could be something on YouTube side, you know, I don't know. Because uh, it doesn't seem for as far, like I, I got green connection right now, everything's good, zero frames dropped, 30 frames a second, was it it's supposed to be, so I don't know what's, I don't know. Oh boy, I just need a new laptop and I don't want to pay for it. So if anybody wants to give like a giant donation so I can buy a new laptop, then that's cool. But I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, I'm just kidding, folks. But um, Yeah. Uh, I think it's I think it's 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 kind of weird for everybody right now. It's YouTube keeps giving me an error. No, it's not you guys' internet. It's it's YouTube cuz I'm getting zero frames dropped on my streaming software, but YouTube is giving me an error. So, I have no idea what the deal is. Um So, when in doubt, just blame YouTube cuz Everything's fine on my end. I got green connection f fast, 30 frames a second, zero frames dropped. I don't know. Don't know, man. Technology. It's stupid. But I do think if I got a new laptop, I think I'd be able to handle a little bit more. I need more processing power. Just to, because my laptop's from like 2015, I think. It's kind of old. It's a little old. It's pretty good for what it, you know, it's still able to do, use Photoshop and do all this kind of stuff, but I think there's just better stuff out there right now. And I tried researching it one night and there's just too much stuff out there. I have no idea what to get, what, you know, what to look for. And there's just, it's too much overload, overloaded my brain. But it must be something with YouTube because Yep, there again, another, another error again on YouTube. I have, literally, everything's fine. Connection's perfect. That is really annoying. That's really annoying, folks. Sorry about that. Um, it's just, it's so frustrating when you get stuff like that, and it's like, there's nothing I can do to fix it, because, like, I have perfect, everything's perfect on my end. So, very bizarre. I, I don't know why that's happening. You know, I, I'm using the exact same settings I always do. Nothing has changed from the last few months ever since I, you know, fixed everything. So, I don't know what to say. I just, <laughs> it's, uh, it's frustrating when that kind of stuff happens. Still getting an error. Hmm. Is there any programs I can exit out of? One, but I don't think it's going to do much, but I can try. Oh yeah, that's, it's really annoying. Yeah, I don't want it to be glitchy. I want it to be smooth, you know? That's, I'm doing this because it's, yeah. <sighs> that really bums me out. I'll try to be a little slower with my movements. Maybe that'll help. I just, I know I need processing power. So the, the laptop I'm using right now is, is MacBook Pro uh, 2015 version, mid-2015. 
has 16 gigabyte of RAM. Um, I forgot the processor, 2.5 gigahertz or something, 2.4, 2.5, uh, something. Uh, 500, five, I think 500 gigabyte of memory or 250, something like that. Which it's almost all filled up. I need to clean it, clean it off. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting this error. This is really annoying. Well, at least you guys can hear me. So it's something, it's, it's weird the, the, vid, the audio is fine, but the video isn't working. I don't know what. It says the stream health is poor. That's so stupid. But on my end, zero frames dropped. Green. It's usually green, yellow, or red, and I have green right now. 2600 kilobytes per second. I mean, everything's fine. That's what I always do. Okay, now I have an excellent connection, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I complain about it enough, they'll fix it. Yeah, MacBooks are definitely not cheap, so that's the problem. It's like, do I want to, it like, I kind of need I'm using an Ethernet cable. I'm using an Ethernet cable plugged right in. Let me see. Yeah. And even if I was using Wi-Fi, the router is literally right next to me on the floor and I have 5G. It's like, it's not like, it shouldn't be slow. Buffering again. You know, I, I don't know if, you know, who knows what it's from. You could blame the fires right now. You could blame all kinds of stuff, but I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, the problem is I have an iPhone and this MacBook they bought for my work. And like, I don't want to get Windows because everything is already integrated with Mac. And it, it just, it's, it's hard once you have a Mac, it's hard to go back to Windows and kind of like downgrade. Cause like all my photos automatically go from my phone to my computer and um, you know, yeah, 4,000, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Macs are pretty crazy expensive, but I will say I haven't had literally no problems with this computer the whole time, you know, maybe, uh, maybe every, every now and then most of the time it's user error, but for for having this thing for five years, it's still running really good, man. I, I had to change, I had to get the battery changed. The battery kind of swell, swole up in the, in the thing, you know, it was all swollen for a while. So I got the battery changed. But other than that, I haven't had any issues with this. Never had to take it to the shop to get fixed, to be worked on. Never had any viruses or anything. Like, never ran into any real issues. So I am happy about, I am happy with the Mac. Yes, I am probably gonna use white in this, so probably like on this side. So if you see the photo, wherever it's like lit up, that's probably where I'll use white. So like these ta these little turrets or towers or whatever, I'll use white on those. Get a nice light effect, hopefully. And I'm gonna, I'll shade the roof top. Yeah, they do, they do have a nice price tag, that's for sure. You've heard the new MacBooks are not as great. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I, I don't like that they went from, I don't like that they have like a little touch bar now, so they have this digital bar. So like, instead of it being buttons, like so to turn up the volume on your computer, 
it's like a digital touch screen like your phone rather than a button you press like I'm not too thrilled about that like if I had to upgrade to a new Mac like kind of sucks like there are things I'm not too thrilled about how they're doing it and I don't like that they they got rid of like all the USB ports now that's another thing that's annoying so now you have to get like a thing that plugs into that so you can have you have to get like a dongle so you can plug in more things like that's pretty annoying like what what's wrong with having a bunch of ports like like why is that a bad thing I don't know why they they're like oh we'll just simplify everything and get rid of all these ports it's like yeah that's stupid don't do that like we need ports <laughs> just doesn't make sense like I don't know I think they try to go into the future like they try to think like they're being futuristic or something like they do it way too soon like no, the world isn't ready for that yet like like everybody isn't using the USB-C yet like the lightning thing like I, I know they want everybody to use that stuff but the world's not there yet like yeah, it's just yeah, I think they just implement stuff way too soon like annoying stuff like that like oh let's just get rid of usb ports let's get rid of it's like on there on the the stupid the stupid iphone they got rid of the headphone jack on the iphone 7 so now the headphones i have to use now i have now i have two sets of headphones you know now i have to have headphones with a normal headphone jack for like my laptop and then i gotta have <laughs> headphones that are this you know the apple thing so it's like Stupid. Why did they do that? Why would they get rid of the headphone jack? It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's anno it's a little annoying stuff like that, but I mean, I gotten used to it by now, but in the beginning I was like this is ridiculous. Cuz now what if you the only headphones you have are the ones for your phone, but what if you need to use if you're out somewhere, what if you need to use headphones on some other device? Oh, well you got to have your other pair of headphones with you. It's like yeah, it's just, it's really annoying. But there's stuff you can complain about all day long about stuff like that, new technology. Have I tried restarting the program? The program, this, the problem is I have zero frames dropped. Perfect. I don't want to restart start the stream. Um... Yeah, if you need two USBs at once, you have to you have to have you plug in something that has ports, multiple ports. So it's like a dongle type thing. I already have one of those actually that I use because sometimes I want I need to plug in like multiple hard drives, like terabyte hard drives. But um, yeah, I don't know if I should like end this stream and and start over or something. I don't I don't understand what's going on like I have perfect signal ah boy give me one second folks I, I just I don't know what's going on here We'll see if this helps or changes anything. I don't know if it can change it while I'm streaming, but I just updated some setting. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I didn't change any settings or anything. Your screen went black. See, that's weird. Like on my end, everything's fine. This is annoying. This is really frustrating. You can see a Yami, you can charge your iPhone and listen to music at the same time, but you have to have a dongle. See, I have something that you plug in that has a power port and a headphone port at the same time. It's the only way this the only thing you can do. Well, I'm sorry folks for the quality of the stream today. I'm not sure what is going on. Now my voice is cutting out. Uh, this is, this is unfortunate. 
Yeah, if I restart the stream, then everyone's going to have to, uh, everyone's going to leave if I have to restart the stream and then come back in. You guys want me to restart the stream? Should I restart it and see if that would help the quality? I'll end this, I'll end this. But how, how is the quality? Is it, is it all twitchy and stuff? Yeah, what? Yeah, restart? Okay, I'm, guys, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart, so it, it'll be like one minute. You may have to refresh or like... All right. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna restart and then I'll be back. This is unfortunate.